Thank you. You look so beautiful. I don't know if we're supposed to kiss. We're gonna hug. Okay, oh my god. You look so good. I love it. What do you think? I love it. It looks yeah. so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot there's a mic on me. Yeah, I do, I do. You like God, you look amazing. Oh my god, I love that. say that they knew the exact moment they fell in love. I've been thinking about this nonstop and I, I just don't have an exact moment. I have too many. Our love has been an amazing journey and we have put so much into our relationship and to put it into one moment where we fell in love would be impossible. Through all the silly things I've said to you over the years and you just, I, I love that, I love that. <laughs> You've just taken me in and you've accepted me for who I, who I truly am, and that's the thing that's most important to me. But one thing I can truly say is that I feel unconditionally loved, even through my worst days, and I know there's some, there's some rough ones. I vow to, be, to always be the logic to your emotions. I vow to open my mind to all the wonders you present to me. I vow to treasure each moment we spend together and treat, treat each of them like when we first met. I promise to always listen to your heart and support your dreams. I promise to always be the one to give you a silly new nickname. <laughs> I had to throw something in there. I promise to always look at the bird. I vow to always be me and to encourage you to always be you. I promise to love you until the day we die. I was gonna start this by saying that 18 year old me would never believe that we're standing here today at our wedding. But that's not really true because I always dreamed and planned on a marriage that felt like a lifelong sleepover with my best friend. So even though I wouldn't say I always knew that this was forever from our very first laughing fit together on the roof, I already believed in us. What was magical though was the way that your presence in my life changed it so quickly. Suddenly, everything felt easier, lighter, doable, and fun. Oh, God. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're doing so good. Together, we've been through all the happy and all the sad. Graduations, new jobs, new homes, and promotions. Also, a pandemic, unemployment, illness, and grief. Through it all, you have been my home and my safest place. And I promise to always be yours. Most importantly, being with you has shown me that love should be calm and easy. I promise to do everything in my power to always be worthy of that love. I'm so excited to be best friends forever. Love you. That's Can so we kiss sweet. now? I don't think we're supposed to. Kiss. Oh, that was amazing. Did you like that? Was that? So good. that was like so that. good. I feel so... I feel like mine were really lackluster you now. Were so good, you went off the head. You really just went. Oh my god, it. I, I really like blacked impressive. out. I blacked out a little bit. No, no, a lot of the stuff was on it, but I, I didn't say a lot of the stuff the way I wrote it. Like not even, like not even close. And then I think I blacked out, and then I don't remember what happened. I love you. I'm so glad we did a first look. I think I would literally have passed away if we had had to do this at the altar. Um, a little bit about our friendship. Uh, I've known Liana for a very long time, as our 10-year high school reunion that just passed likes to remind us. 
And all of a sudden, when I was standing in our common area of our school, she pops up behind me and says, hi, I think we're supposed to be friends. <laughs> and from then on, we were. And when Leon and I took a trip to Europe, I quickly learned that in the best way possible, she is not that type of person. She loves to ask a question, to the point where she would prep me walking into a store and say, listen, we're gonna go in there, I'm gonna ask a question and you're not gonna like it. And I didn't. And although I'm sure I rolled my eyes at all those questions that I've secretly had too, I have always admired that Liana knows what she wants and she was always there to protect and stand up for me as well. Which brings me to say, what I appreciate most in our friendship, outside of the many laughs we have shared, is the balance that she brings me. And what I see most in Liana and Alex's relationship, in addition to the love that they share, is the balance they bring each other. It's been so nice to see your love grow and how full circle your journey together has come. Thank you for letting me be a small part of your big story. And I can't wait to see what's in store for you guys. Congratulations and wishing you all the happiness in the world. Um, and she was so curious as a three-year-old that she touched the tailpipe of the motorcycle and we had to rush her to the emergency room at the hospital in Kingston. And that was the same trip where Rachel Krimkowitz, I bet you didn't know if Rachel was a biker, her air mattress completely deflated during the night and Rachel had to sleep on the ground the whole night smashed it up and put it in the garbage and then we took the other one, smashed it up and put it in the garbage and I think that was the last time we went camping with him. So I can't really tell you why we're here. But it's great to be here. Now, some of you may not know as much as others, I may not know as much as others, but you are here as Liana and Alex's extended family for the sole reason of recognizing, witnessing, and celebrating not just the marriage ceremony of these two wonderful human beings, but to celebrate their existence and the bonding of these two beautiful souls. We watched you grow up. I remember Alex dressed as Batman for Halloween when he was around seven or eight years old. He was committed to his role, down to the sound effects of the action-adventure and the ultimate goal of getting the sweet treats. He hasn't changed that much, <laughs> and that's a good thing. He's still committed and very focused on what he wants and likes. I've always been very impressed with you, Alex. From the beginning of our courtship, of your courtship with Liana, you presented yourself as respectful, well-spoken, polite, dignified, and all-around great person. You're a loyal, thoughtful, yet you also love to laugh and have fun. And you can't ask for more from a son-in-law. You make my daughter very happy. So I wrote a poem just for this special occasion. A bond, a chemistry, whatever it's called, it's no mystery. It's like a glove, fitting and warm. It's love. It's simple, yet complex. It's dynamic, yet organic. It's a quest in life, sometimes it's strife. But the attractions endure, and the unity, secure. Love is powerful, deep, and everlasting. It transcends humanity, sometimes it's insanity. It overwhelms and enthralls, it validates us all. It can flood our heart and inspire great art. We gather and pay homage with each other, we acknowledge, that there is love in this room for the bride and the groom. And while you all made this long journey, Alex Lee Liana didn't have to go far to find each other. In fact, they were neighbors who lived a mere four buildings away. They played in the same backyard where Alex gave kids rides in his wagon. A shout out to the Newmans who gave Alex that wagon before he could even walk. And although they did not attend the same schools, 
They eventually met by being a part of our amazing community, Castle Village in Washington Heights. And it was this community that helped shape their lives, and it's this wider community here in this room that that made them who they are today, either by example or through simple acts of kindness and thoughtfulness. You're gonna make a great husband, Alex. <laughs> by lunchtime, she emerged from her room triumphant and announcing a job offer was imminent. I was really impressed. She was now confident, self-assured, and eager to tackle a new challenge. Two people who listen to each other, who respect each other's opinions, and who work together, and who are really nice to each other. Your duo is starting your song from scratch and making it up as you go along. So here are a few hints from our master class that might apply to your marriage. Play fewer notes. A lot fewer notes. A whole bunch of notes is what music schools or social media pushes you to do. The driving mantra is all about you. Don't play so many notes that you close the circle. Give your bandmate space to enter and make their own statements, their own contribution to the music. Be present. It's easy to run on autopilot, to fall back on what you already know, the chops you've got. And listen, always listen. You are not in the music business. You're not in the creativity business. You're in the surrender business. Improvisation is acceptance in one breath of both transience and eternity. We know what might happen in the next day or minute, but we cannot know what will happen. Good luck on your musical journey. I love you both. All right, how about one more nice hand for all of our toasters and our newlyweds this evening?